Right. So what are some common differentiators, I guess, that you could include in your product title? Well, so uh, one of the things one of the things I usually recommend um, if I'm doing coaching, for instance, I'll I'll tell a brand to go back to their manufacturer and ask them two questions. This is kind of a starting point, right? Go back to your manufacturer, ask them in the manufacturing of my product, not including packaging, not including shipping, logistics, that kind of stuff. It's just in the manufacturing of my product. Two questions. What's the most expensive step in the manufacturing process and why? And what's the most time consuming step in the manufacturing process and why? Usually the manufacturer's never been asked that question, but you, they usually can say it's like, oh, well, we, we use this more expensive paint and maybe we, we bake it on to the product for an extra amount of time because that makes it more sun fade resistant. And it happens to be a product that has both an in, indoor and outdoor or use on it. And nobody is pointing out the fact that you're using um, a, a sun resistant paint for, to, to make a color fast you know, product. So it looks better for a longer period of time. And maybe everybody does that because they, maybe they all, all your competitors source from the exact same manufacturers, the same process. They've got the same cost. Nobody paid for any kind of upgrades. And yet you're the only one who's pointing out a unique benefit that makes it look like your product is the only one that has that. Um, I think so. that's, that's just a starting point as far as simply just Ask your manufacturer because they know you just haven't had that conversation with them. Right, that does make sense. You know, a lot of people don't actually like to test with their title because a lot of people think it's an SEO thing. Like you'll see someone selling a black mug, have like, you know, black yeah. mug, black porcelain yeah. mug, black coffee mug, black tea mug, just in a row and they're trying to hit all these higher search volume keywords. So what yeah, do you think I mean, of that's... the graphic version? I've, I've done plenty of research and uh, co-developed um, next generation software that taught, you know, as far as for keyword ranking on Amazon and, and uh, title is definitely one of the big impacts as far as being able to rank to achieve a high keyword rank. There's a lot of other elements that are involved in keyword ranking. And so um, if the, if let's say that there's 12 different elements that you have to get right in order to rank high for uh, a specific target keyword on Amazon. If you did all, you know, if you did 11 poorly and the 12th one is the, is because it's in your title, then if you move it out of your title, that phrase out of your title, then everything else falls apart, right? Cause you'd have nothing else that's backing it up. So the, when, when a brand says I'm afraid to do it, or I had a bad experience with changing a title and they lost keyword ranking, it's not because that's the only element that has to be right. It means they got all the rest of them wrong, which means they need to go back and look at the product listing and their reviews and their ratings and uh, a bunch of other factors of their product listing because most likely uh, they were hanging on with their fingernails because of that phrase in, in the keyword. And that's, that's something where all you have to do is get a few competitors who put it in their title and all of a sudden you're still pushed down regardless of whether or not you change your title. It's just an accident waiting to happen, similar to what you were mentioning, is, uh, y you know, you can either be afraid and not do anything and just cross your fingers that nobody else is going to do anything with their listings. But I think that's a pretty bad strategy. I think, I think it's getting to understand uh, how to constantly focus the product listing into the terms that actually produce uh, traffic and uh, profitable sales, right? It's a combination uh, for um, from your target audience that you now understand because you research them well and you understand their pain points and you're pointing out the benefits and the solution of, of your product compared to competing products. You're going to get more of those. You're actually going to fix some of the problems with your listings that would make a title change a problem because you should be actively split testing your title year round, 12 months out of, out of the year, four week tests, you should always be doing AB split testing of your title. 